Hello, I'm Brian Hale with the Harvest USA Report, sitting in for Howard. But first, let's hear from our Canadian correspondent, David Woodruff. Well, on the 25th of March, the last weekend in March, we we're going to have a cowboy poetry and western music gathering. Tabor, Alberta, at the Tabor Community Centre. We also are doing a benefit for a young cowboy that sustained spinal column damage in a bronc wreck over the Christmas holidays. That was Canadian David Woodruff reminding us of the March 25th Cowboy Poetry Gathering in Alberta, Canada. Yesterday on the Harvest USA Report, we learned that there are some serious problems when it comes to cyber attacks in agriculture. But how can your average agribusiness set up these cyber fortresses? Byron Franz says it starts with training employees to understand phishing. That's phishing with a PH. Not the fun phishing that gets you out of the house. That's a targeted attack against you based upon email and text where they're trying to get you to click on a link or download an attachment of some sort, which has malware, bad software attached that allows them access to your network. Phishing is mass distributed pain. That means people are sending this out pretending to be an Amazon scam or Norton or well-known providers that people may be utilizing that the attackers are pretending to be these people and conning them into, hey, you have to do this to patch this. And today he offers us some advice for protecting ourselves. The first and foremost I'd say is multi-factor or dual-factor authentication. That means something more than a password. It's really hard for a a hacker to get through multi-factor authentication. Again, that was Byron Franz, special agent with the Milwaukee Division of the FBI. That's going to do it for the Harvest USA Report. Thanks again for listening and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.